What's up, guys? What's, what's wrong? Oh. Did I scare you? Yes. Sorry. All right. Hey, we're doing another scary video, and we got Dang Matt Smith. Yeah, I'm back at it. Yay. Without the vans. I don't have vans. <laughs> But yeah, as always, we did a video on his channel. It's the first link below, and you can see his Instagram and Twitter and Cameo. You do that, right? I do Cameo, so that. personalized shout outs, yeah. But today we're doing another scary video. We are reacting to the scariest video games you have ever seen in your life. Wait, what? You didn't tell me this? What? Scary, I did. scary video games? Sure, I did. Yeah, I, I told you. She didn't tell me. I told so be sure to like the video, show us some love, help me with my self-confidence. Mm -hmm. What self-confidence? <laughs> I thought Just, you liked me. I mean, yeah, I, I do. That is because mm -hmm. I like you is why I say such things. Mm -hmm. And before we get started, be sure to comment below mm. your favorite video game. What's your favorite video game? Fortnite. Oh, you're a, okay. That, that's not how they do it. <laughs> you know, that's not how they do it. Oh my gosh. I like Call of Duty. I'm all about the Call of Duty. Ooh, yes, yes. Really? Yeah. You never answer my calls. Because I'm not on duty. <laughs> that was dumb. Okay. <laughs> but now, are you ready? I'm ready. Are you ready? I think that was a yes. Was that? Yes. All right, let's go. Okay. Five Nights at Freddy's. Ooh, that was one of the scariest games. I mean, like, at least in the first one, you can't move. You're just there and like, you know, you just move left to right and you gotta, you know, keep an eye on the cameras because if you don't, then those animatronics are gonna get you. That's what I would do. You just gotta hide out. Once you start moving around, investigating, that's when stuff happens. Mm-hmm, just gotta stay there. The problem is the animatronics, they come towards you in that little room right there, and they'll get you if you don't, like, you know, if you don't have your eye on the on the cameras and stuff. So. Well, then hide under the desk. Find mm -hmm. a better spot. I don't know. Those animatronics can smell fear. Mm-hmm. And they have one of the creepiest screams of all time. Ugh. And then they have, like, Five Nights at Freddy's where they have these screams. Jeez! Five Nights at Freddy's puts you in the role of an overnight security guard at a pizza restaurant. Ooh, mm. you wanna go get some pizza? Nope. Pizza. You've been instructed to keep a watchful eye on the life-size animatronic animals who roam freely around the restaurant. But the catch is they have been involved in a series of incidents involving previous guards. The goal is to stay alive until the morning and ultimately survive five nights in a row. But if your concentration wavers for a single moment, the animatronics will attack and try to stuff you into an empty animatronic suit. Ew. They're... They're the old security guards. Mm-hmm. That's creepy. Mm -hmm. I remember playing this game with my brother and it was the scariest thing I have ever played ever. Mm-hmm. Especially if you play at nighttime and then, you know, all the lights off and then, you know, but just make sure to lock your doors at night because otherwise, you know, one of these animatronics, they might just burst through the door and then just be like, ah! And don't be a security guard or get a job where everyone else has died. Yeah, work at McDonald's, okay? <laughs> I mean, McDonald's, Taco Bell, or Chick-fil-A. I mean, do that. They, they ain't no creepy animals there. Resident Evil 4? Ew, what is Ugh. that thing? Dang. That thing looks like it suffers from radiation poisoning or something. Dang. Mm -mm. That's the dog you adopted for free from the pound. Mm -mm, that ain't no dog. That's like half horse, half human, half ugly. Dang. Ugh. And you think one pistol is gonna take that thing out? Like, don't worry guys, I got this. <laughs> mm -mm. Oh crap. <laughs> Why it's scary. Regarded as one of the greatest games ever made, this installment of Resident Evil replaces bloodthirsty zombies with an all too human mob of infected cultists as the main enemy. You play as Special Agent Leon S. Kennedy. I mean, they kinda could've gotten a better name than <laughs> Leon. I mean, if your name's Leon, then uh, yeah. Get back off. That's cool. <laughs> Who battles horrific new creatures on his mission to rescue the president's daughter. Just remember to watch out for the screaming chainsaw wielding madman. Ooh. What? Why is he going after the daughter? <laughs> because he he's trying to get a date. I mean, that's the only way he could do it is if he wields a chainsaw. Hey, you want to go on a date with me? Okay, cool. Yeah. You go through all that just for a date. Would you go through that for me? I'd have to go and rescue the president's daughter. Me? You oh. have to go rescue me from that thing for a date. Would you do it? Nah, I'm sorry, what? player. No, nah, no, nah, I can't. Mm -mm. That thing, if that thing's coming at me, I'm sorry. I'm just like, 
But comment down below if you've played this game before, or if you're gonna play it now. There are so many Resident Evil movies that my dad has made me watch every single one of them. Why? Because he likes the movies. Mm. <laughs> Until Dawn. Pennywise! What? That's not Pennywise. That's Pennywise. No, That's it's... Pennywise's uncle. What? <laughs> <laughs> Until Dawn combines the cliché tropes of past horror films such as the dumb blonde and final girl to create terrifying experiences that are both familiar and unique. With the added layer of interactivity, the game puts you in charge of deciding the fate of a group of teenagers attempting to escape from a masked killer in the woods. How many of you guys thought that she was going to stumble on that word interactivity? What? <laughs> I thought you were, I thought she was going to be inter uh. No. <laughs> no, I can read. Comment down below. No. That game looks scary until dawn. I'm about to play this, especially I mean the girl she's in a towel. Yeah. <laughs> That'd be the worst thing ever. You're like going through this creepy haunted place and and you just got out the shower. Like what the heck? I mean, since you can decide what happens to them, mm -hmm. what, what would you do? <laughs> if I could decide, man, no, the girl's gonna go up and try to give this creepy thing a, a hug, <laughs> and then, you know, I wanna see what happens. Why is there a movie called The Dumb Blonde? I, I don't know, because huh? uh, stereotypes. What stereotype? Blonde stereotypes. Jeez, I might. I don't know. We might have to play this game if this video gets. If this video can get eight thousand likes, then we will make a video playing one of these games that you choose. So comment below which one. Mm-hmm. And give it a like. Yes. Yeah. Get the eight K likes. I want to see how she does playing one of these games. Yeah. Ugh. Resident Evil Seven Biohazard. Oh. Grandma. <laughs> yeah, Grandma done made some cookies. What the heck? <laughs> oh, she's like. You want some cookies? <laughs> cookies in a pot? No, Grandma, uh, it's not gonna work. Uh, I mean, it honestly looks like she brought like soup, tomato soup, <laughs> but dang, she needs to brush her teeth. That's just nasty. Why it's scary. Set in a nightmarish vision of rural Louisiana, Resident Evil 7 Biohazard follows the story of Ethan Winters stumbling onto a seemingly abandoned plantation while searching for his missing wife, Mia. Mm. What he discovers, however, is a psychopathic family called the Bakers who imprison him in their mansion infected with the molded a humanoid form of bacteria. Oh! Uh. That's disgusting. I mean, man, why are all these people going to these creepy houses? Why? Get a divorce, Ethan. Mm-hmm. You need a divorce, man. You need to spray her with Raid. <laughs> Jeez, just get the whole can of Raid because she bugging. Just <laughs> I wonder what she's got in that crock pot. What do you think she's cooking? I don't know. Grandma. Some chili. No. <laughs> you want some chili? Chili. It's good. You got some cornbread. <laughs> mm, you want some cornbread, some collard greens. <laughs> she look like she made cornbread and like chili. That bowl looks like collard greens. Mm, Look at it. Yeah, that's, <laughs> Look some, at it. <laughs> that's some greens in there. There's some, I don't know. There's probably like some greens with some bugs in there. It's disgusting. Grandma's cooking up something tonight. Mm -mm. What is up with Resident Evil with their movies and their video games? They make like 20 of them. They just, they just make a lot because they're probably making a lot of money off these games and movies. So why not keep going? Are they? Are they though? It's like the Fast and Furious movies. They got like nine of them now. <laughs> or do they keep trying because they can't make enough money? So they're like, oh, we need to try and make something better, mm -hmm. but it still sucks. <laughs> well, then they go out of business in that case. But yeah, I don't know. Comment down below what you think she's got in that pot. Alien isolation. Ooh, Ooh. look at that thing. Gosh, dang. That's how I look when I wake up in the morning. That's how it looks to a little kid when his mom's about to come spank him. He's mm. like, no. <laughs> That's crazy. Why it's scary. Playing as Amanda Ripley, daughter of Sigourney Weaver's now iconic hero, Ellen Ripley, your mission is simple. Search a deserted space station to track down a lost flight recorder. But it's soon after landing that you discover the single alien xenomorph inhabiting the corridors of the space station. Although you have access to multiple weapons throughout the course of the game, there is limited ammunition available, meaning that every shot you take has to count. Uh, I'm very inaccurate with these weapons, so with yeah. taking your shots. Mm-hmm, taking a shot with my crush, yeah. Like, you know, the hoop could be like right here, and I'm just be like, 
Oh, uh, yeah, take your shot. I mean, I don't I don't even know where do you shoot this thing? Like do you shoot it like, you know, does it have a heart or like do you have to shoot it in the face? Go for that big head. <laughs> <laughs> That's messed up. That big head. Gosh dang, jeez. That thing, man, that thing must be thinking all the Just, time. Yeah. See, this is the thing, when you're taking the test, you cheat off of them, because they got the big <laughs> head, you know, they, they must be thinking, you know, it's like, hey, bro, what you got on your mind? <laughs> must be a lot, you know. Why'd they have to bring up Sigourney Weaver? <laughs> I don't know, because she was in the movie. She was in the Alien movie, and like, you know, mm -hmm. she was, I think she might have voiced the character or something. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, bro, but I feel like that weapon is not very effective against this thing. I mean, this thing looks looks mad. It probably gets shot and is like, oh, jeez, these dang mosquitoes are ridiculous. I bet it's super complicated. You gotta like shoot off each leg first and then get them mm -hmm. in the head and then yeah. chop them up. If anything, just like, just shoot them like right in the neck or something. Just shoot what? them in the neck, like, like right in the Adam's apple. Jeez. Do aliens have Adam's apples? No. I, I don't think they I have like a sex. I don't think I have one. Is that bad? Th yes, you do. That's you what see? this is. <laughs> uh! Amnesia, the dark descent. What happened, man? It, did somebody pull his jawbone off? Jeez. Uh. Uh, your jawbone broke off. Dang. And why is the person just standing there with the lights like, <laughs> hello, are you, are you okay, bro? You, dang, you don't look so good. You play as Daniel, an archaeologist who finds himself helpless, unarmed, and alone in a desolate castle with no memory of the past. Under the guidance of a letter, you attempt to escape both the mad castle and the shadowy figures that stalk its hallways. There's a catch, though. To survive, you must hide from the monsters, and to hide, you must remain in the safety of darkness. But it's in the darkness where Daniel begins to lose his sanity, resulting in his perception of reality becoming blurred. What? That's so scary. He doesn't remember anything. That's really scary. And you have to hide in the dark, not remembering anything. Mm. He doesn't know who he is or what he does. He doesn't know if he's like a dentist or something. He doesn't remember, but it says he's an archaeologist. That's what you get for being an archaeologist, nerd. No, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. That's well, I don't think That's he bad. remembers he's an arche archaeologist. Say that five <laughs> times fast. No. <laughs> archaeologist, 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 archaeologist. <laughs> no, he has no memory of his past. He doesn't mm -hmm. know he's an archaeologist and he could just dig his way out. Yeah, see, I mean, but you shouldn't have been digging in the first place. Mm -hmm. Digging, investigating caves and stuff. This is because, boom, that's what you're uh, going to find. Stop. That's <laughs> nasty. See, going all in, into these ruins and everything. Who lit those candles? That's what I want to know. <laughs> well, like, you can't go in the light. Yeah, but like maybe this thing just lit the candles. Like, so, sorry, one second, I gotta light this candle. <laughs> All right, that's better. All right, how you doing? They need to put a shirt on that guy. That is his shirt. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I'm sorry they don't have a Forever 21 down there. They don't have an American Eagle down there. They can't just shop. Silent Hill 2. Ooh, I heard that game scary. I heard that one. I heard. I haven't played it, but I heard stories. Really? Mm hmm. While the whole Silent Hill franchise is pretty unsettling, it's the second installment that remains the best and most disturbing. You play as James Sunderland, a man who returns to the abandoned town of Silent Hill after receiving a letter written by his deceased wife. As you descend deeper into the town, you encounter deformed creatures like Pyramid Head and the undead nurses. Oh. But it's James' personal demons, which are brought to life by the empty town of Silent Hill, that are the most threatening. Mm -mm. Yep, Silent Hill. I'm not going there for a vacation. Mm -mm. Oh, I think I've heard of this, actually. Oh, wow. Right, yeah. It's really creepy. Yeah, I heard you encounter things like that. Ugh. Oh, God. That thing's just looking like it's trying to do a new dance. It's just like, hey. It, looks, <laughs> it looks like it's backwards. Like its chest is against the wall and the mm. legs are that way. Mm hmm. Yeah, that way. I mean, well, but look, man, why are you standing and looking at it? Mm. You got a weapon. Go ahead and fire. Just boom, right in the chest. I don't think he has a weapon. That's a weapon that he's holding. See that? What is it? I don't gun? know, like shotgun or something mm. like that. Yeah, he's got a little shotgun, but he's just standing. He's not using it. You know why? Because he's white and he's investigating. That's why. Yeah, Every if you time. get a letter from your deceased he's partner. He's white. White. You don't go. White. <laughs> how, uh, can you, how can you tell he's white? Ah, uh, no. He's not white. If, it, if, they're, if they're black and they see that thing, they ain't going to be standing there long enough for someone to take a photo. Like, you're going to be like, ah! Or you're going to turn, or you're going to... 
it's something. I don't know. It's ridiculous. Fear 2005. Oh, this little creepy girl. little girl. Mm. Wow. Yeah. Sorry, girl. I ain't your daddy. Mm, <laughs> no. She looks. She's like, Dad. Can I have a snack? <laughs> I did my makeup. Do you like it? <laughs> no, I don't like it. Oh, girl, you did your makeup with like blood? No, it's disgusting. Mm -mm, sorry, girl, you ain't getting adopted today. She going through a phase. She going through a phase. She going through <laughs> depression. Mashing Japanese horror. Thank the grudge and the ring vibes. Uh, yeah, that sounds about right. <laughs> And FPS combat styles. The game revolves around the fear. First encounter assault recon. Team having to fight against paranormal entity Alma Wade. That's a name. Mm -hmm. Alma, a young girl who was experimented on and imprisoned, becomes a powerful psychic entity filled with rage and an insatiable bloodlust as the game's storyline develops. Dang, this poor girl. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Not not investigating. I mean, look, send in the Marines. Go ahead, send in the Army. Send the military, you know, to handle this girl. Not not me. I don't like her staring at me. Yeah, I don't know. She's staring into my soul. Mm -hmm. But why don't you just like I don't know, get like I don't know, just plant like a uh, plant like some C4 in there. Oh my god. In the build, you know, if you know the girls in the building, you know, just plant like C4 and then just you know leave the build, detonate, boom, and then you're good, you Gucci man. Don't just blow her up. Yeah, <laughs> just, that's exactly what you do if she's causing a ruckus. She's a ghost. You can't kill her. Yes, you can. No. C4. PT from 2014. Mm. Hideo Kojima and Guillermo del Toro. Guillermo. Guillermo. <laughs> Guillermo. Oh, she's white. <laughs> playable Guillermo, teaser. Guillermo del Toro. Okay, playable teaser. For the now canceled Silent Hills places you in a single infinitely looping hallway. Each successfully completed loop layers on a new set of changes from unsettling lighting to obscure writing coding the walls and the presence of a ghost named Lisa. You cannot defend yourself, nor can you die. All you must do is progress through each series of hallways, no matter how terrifying they become. That's really cool, because it's like a haunted house or that's something. That's like 17 doors. Yeah, that's like a haunted house. So, like, you, you can't even die in the game. You just got to keep going and, like, you know, all these scary things. That's that's a game I want to play. I wanna what play if you can't game. exit out the game? You have to finish it. Yeah, exactly. Like, you can't even get, you can't get rid of it until you complete the thing. And what is that? That's Jeez. Lisa. Lisa? Lisa, uh, is she pregnant? I think so. Lisa's pregnant. Congratulations! Lisa's pregnant and she's walking with the gangster lean. <laughs> Dang, she like, hey. what's good? <laughs> Man, I don't know. If I was in that house, I'm sorry. I mean, that's got to be the worst Airbnb I've ever <laughs> seen. I mean, heck no. Better hightail it up on out of there. Outlast. 2013. Jeez, this thing, I mean, this thing works out. Dang, it's got like, you know, muscles on his muscles. In Outlast, you're an investigative journalist entering a psychiatric hospital armed with nothing more than your wits and a night vision camera. Really? Unlike most games, you cannot engage in combat and instead of and instead have to run or hide to avoid the terrors lurking in the dark. Mm -mm. Just be careful to use your camera carefully. The batteries don't last very long. No! Run, man! Gee, don't, oh gosh, that's scary. Get out scary. of there! Man, you, come on, you can't be in there trying to make a YouTube video. <laughs> Get up on out of there. Yeah, guys, hey, welcome. I'm Corey. And, I, and under the bed, we see the scary thing. No, not today. I made a new friend. <laughs> mm -mm, no, not gonna work, man. You better hightail it up on out of there. You see that thing, you run. Yep. That's scary. And that's it for today's scary video. Which Ooh. one was the scariest to you that you think we should try? Oh, the scariest game. I don't know. I think we should definitely try. Okay, Until Dawn looks scary. And then... Amnesia. Amnesia. Yeah, Amnesia. And... PT, PT. Yeah, I want to play that. I want to play that. I want to play. I want to play Outlast. Outlast. All right. Yeah. yeah. So comment down below which one we should play, and if the video gets 8K likes, then we're gonna play it in the next one. Like it. Yeah. But yeah, again, we did a video on his channel. Links below. Also, our social medias are down there. So go follow. And if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe to Sarah because she's almost at 200K. Let's get her there. And he's almost at 10 million. Let's get me there. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, that's it for today. That was so much fun. And we will see you beautiful people next time. Peace. Peace.